Welcome everybody. Konnichiwa. Nick des. Uh, Gakuseyo Nihongo des. My name is Nick. I am a Japanese student, is what I said. Welcome guys to another Voice of Nick live stream. We are going to be doing another secret stream of Duolingo. This is not advertised on Facebook, not advertised on Twitter, not advertised on Instagram, not advertised by Twitch itself. There's nowhere that I'm sending out um, notifications about this going live. So good luck finding it. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to be learning some Japanese here. If you don't know my channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. This is a secret fourth stream that is not counted in the three streams a day where I brush up on my Japanese. If you want to see which games are being played on the channel right now, type exclamation mark games. You'll get a full list of all eight concurrent gameplay series going right now. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of eight. We're currently at five. We just gained a new follower, Spy Monk. Welcome, Spy Monk, to the Meatball Marauders. I hope you enjoy your stay. Take these 20 meatballs, use it to buy yourself the Japanese character, Wa, which is very versatile. You can use it to uh, make water. You can use it to make washing. You can use it to make wa wands. All sorts of stuff. I'm sure that's what you can use it for. Enjoy your stay here uh, in the Meatball Marauders. And let's get some of that hype for our new friend, Spy Monk, joining the fold. Now, uh, last order of business before we jump into the show. The 11th Twitch Playbook entry is out now, so it is all about getting in the right mindset to always appreciate your community. Very important lesson, especially for brand new streamers who might not even know that they have a community. Uh, so give that one a look, guys. Exclamation mark playbook in the chat if you want to check it out. The Twitch Playbook is a free online resource I created for you guys in this community to create your own Twitch channel from scratch or to improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Uh, it is a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. You can find it right now completely free at exclamation mark playbook in the chat or by going to twitchplaybook.com. Now uh, let's jump into it. We're going to brush up on some Japanese. We're going to uh, learn a couple new things, hopefully. This is our fifth day of, uh, of doing Duolingo on the show, and I'm enjoying it a lot. This is also part six because on one of those days we did it twice. So let's jump in here, guys. Let's see what we can do. Uh, first, we got to practice. You got to start out with some practice, right? Uh, and let's get, yep, on the speakers. Here we go. Tempura. Tempura. There's no M. M for Mike. There's no M for Mike in uh, Japanese. There's only N for November. So a lot of times they replace, you know, the, if they're making an English word into Japanese, not that tempura is an English word, but uh, they're replacing an M with an N. So tenpura. T-E-N for November pura. Kyo is today. Kaze. Wait. Oh, did it say Q? Whoops. <laughs> That's nine. Kaze is wind. D. Wind? Windy. Wind. Natto. It's wind. Natto. Kyo. Kyo. See, Kyo is today. I messed it up. I said Q was Kyo. Go is this. Go. Zo. Zo. Jin. Hito. Go. Go. Ze. Ze. Zu. Zu. Za. Za. Zo. Zo. Ji. Ji. Ocha. Ocha. Kyo. Kyo. Ji. Ji. Kyu. Kyu. Ge. Ge. Hito. Hito. Oh, Jin. That's what we're doing. Ka is this. Ka. Jin. What? Oh, that's Hito. the kanji for. Ma. Ma. Me. Me. Di. Di. Kyo. See, that's Q. That's Kyo. -u. That's Kyo. Kyo. They're really trying to trick you here. They're trying to put very similar things right next to each other. Zo. Zo. Tenpura. Tenpura. Natto. Natto. Kaze. 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 Q. Q. Kaze. Kaze. Q. Nine. Q. Let's do another practice here before we jump into it. Hiru. Hiru is a uh, su sunny daytime. Yoru. I get that messed up. Night. Ba. Bo. Oh no, that's bo. See, that's why we need to practice. Bu. Bu. Ba. Ba. Bi. Bi. Be. Be. Pu. Pu. Ji. Ji. Zu. Zu. Pe. Pe. Bo would be this. Bo. Hey, Ben Frost. 
No, Nick. I don't know the kanji that you wrote there. Ben Frost stumping me. Shengin. Oh, into Chinese. Whoops. Into English. E N Glish. Voice of Nick. Ah, ha, ha. or Nick's voice is what you wrote. What was the pronunciation of that word? Onse no Nick. That's how you say voice of Nick. Good stuff, Ben Frost. Coming into the stream, let's get an exclamation mark high for Ben Frost joining the show. You have found the secret stream. We're on number six right now. And some at some points, we're actually making uh, complete sentences here. Um, b b ba. Ba. Welcome, Ben Frost, b to the show. B oh. P is this? B. B. P. That one's P. Is this? P. 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 Po. Po. Pe. Pe. Pa. Pa. Be. Be. Bo. Bo. Yoru. 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 Daytime is hiru. Hiru. Nighttime is yoru. Yoru. Zu. Zu. Hiru. Hiru. Yoru. Yoru. Hiru. Hiru. Good stuff. I, I came up with a name for the shroomy one, which because you can translate it directly into Japanese, it would, be, it would make it into katakana or something. But I, I would say shroomy hito, which means shroomy person. But like that's more similar to like how you would translate it into Japanese. Kyo. Kyo is today. Tori. Tori is bird. Ocha. Ocha is tea. Yomu. Yomu. Is uh, see, uh, read. Kiru. Yomu wa tanoshi desu ne. That means reading is fun. Yomu wa ii desu. Y reading is good. Kiru is where. Ticket is chiketto. Oh no, there it's saying kipu, kipu. which is a different word for ticket. Inu. Inu is dog. Tanaka san wa nihonjin desu. Tanaka, Tanaka san, san wa. wa Nihonjin. Nihonjin. This. This. See, we're making sentences. Kipu. Kipu. Ticket. Tanaka san wa Nihonjin des. Tanaka is Japanese. Kiru. 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 Maria san wa Chugok shushin des. Maria san wa Chugok shushin des. That means Maria is Chinese. What if I said a Chinese person? Yeah, that also works. See, they, they have good ways of like, they'll take multiple answers if they're correct. Because like you could say Maria is Chinese, but you could also say Maria is a Chinese person. Oh, well actually what, see I actually translated that wrong because technically it means Maria is from China. So see, they would they accepted a lot of answers. Tanaka-san, oh, they're asking me to, to make the grammar now. Tanaka-san wa. Nihonjin des. John san wa America jin des. John is an American. Yomu. John san wa America jin des. Yomu is a read. Yomu wa i des ne. Yomu ga ski des. It means I like reading. Although it might mean that I am in love with reading in a romantic sense. I'm not sure. Kyo. Kyo. Ocha. Ocha. Tori. Tori is bird. Dog is inu. Inu. Tori. Tori. Good stuff. Pretty dark or bright, rather. What if I did that? Does that make it better? It's kind of hard to look at. It's so bright. Senaka. Senaka. It's back. Hare. Hare is sunny. Natsu. Natsu is a. Uh, uh, natsu. Um. Crap. Cloudy? Summer. Mimi. That's right. Ears. Kumori. Kumori is cloudy. Kumori is cloudy and uh, kaze is is uh, wind. 
Northlight, welcome to the secret stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Northlight, who found the secret stream today. We are learning Japanese. Po. Po. Pi. Pi. Pu. Pu. Pe. Pe. Pa. Pa. Ie? Ie is house. Za. Ie is house. Ie is no. Like the, the answer of like yes or no. Ie means no. So. 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 Pa. What do you think, Ben Frost? You were here for the transition of, of dark to light. Do you think this is better? This is full brightness, and I could just dim it down a little bit. It's easier on the eyes, I think. Pa. Oh, no, we're doing za. Gi. Oh, that's za. Gi. Damn, see? Sa looks a lot like ki. Match the pairs. Za. Za. Zu. Zu. Ji. Ji. Ze. Ze. Zo. Zo. Mi. Mi. So, so, he, e, 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 o, o. Ben agrees? Nice. I'm glad ha. that I can do this. It's not a usual Windows thing. I have a special app that does that. Because usually I do this to my second monitor so that it's not as bright. You know, I can darken it like so that I don't see it out of the corner of my eye all the time while I'm uh, streaming. But uh, I'm glad that I can do it for the first monitor too. Hare, Hare. is sunny. Cloudy is kumori. Kumori. Summer is natsu. Natsu. Year is mimi. Mimi. House is ie. Ie. Natsu. Summer. Natsu. All right, let's do some new stuff now. Space Dust, welcome to the secret stream. You found it. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Space Dust joining the show. And now uh, intro two. How about this? So it's intro in the sense of like introducing yourself. Ki. So now this is more uh, katakana. And you'll notice that katakana characters are a lot more angular and like sharp than uh, hiragana, which are like uh, curvy. Ki. I. I. Ki. Ki. Su. Igirisu shushin desu. Igirisu shushin desu. That means I'm from England. There you go. I know one of you guys can use that in the chat. Su. Igirisu shushin desu. That's how you say it. Ba. Ba. Ki. Su. Keep. Keep. I. Welcome gaming hour to the stream as well. You have found the secret stream. Congratulations. Yo. Yo. Ki. Ki. I. I. Ha. Hon. The UK, Igirisu, Igirisu, because it's basically like they're translating English, the word English, into the Japanese character set, which turns into Igirisu. Um, so the word for the actual place called the UK is the translation of English. So it's saying like, I'm from English, but uh, that's just the word for, for it in that language. I, I, su, su, ki, ki, he, e, igirisu, igirisu, British. See, they don't let you say that. Well, I guess because it would be igirisu jin. Stitching saying, ohayo, igirisu jin desu. Welcome stitchings to the stream. It's getting an exclamation mark high for stitchings during the show. Di, igirisu jin desu. See, that's, I just said that. That's, I am British. Igirisu. Igirisu, the UK. Igirisu. Kaku. Stitchings, do you know the word for Igirisu? Or for England, rather? Because it's an important one for you to know, I would say. Gaku. Sensei. Sensei. So that's the thing for sensei. Man, I don't remember these. I kind of, I used to know these characters. Sensei is this. It's got the little thing like that. Sensei. Man, it's so Gakusei. hard to remember these ones. Gakusei. 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 Gaku. Gaku. Man, I'm not going to remember this stuff. Gaku. Gaku. Gakusei. Gakusei. Gakusei means student, which is 
Definitely so, important when you're learning Japanese. Su ki, ki sensei. Sensei. So you're saying nani? <laughs> yeah, the uh, word for England is igirisu, which is like a Japanese translation of English, but uh, it means England in Japanese. Gakusei. That's this one. Gakusei. I, I, ki, ki, gaku, gaku, gakusei, gakusei, sensei. So sei is the same. You can see that this little set of characters here is the same as this one. Ragnall Gaming, nani? <laughs> Welcome Ragnall Gaming to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Ragnall. Find in the secret stream. Congratu- whoops, I said gaming hour. Well, gaming hour gets another high as well. You both have gaming in your names. Um, so welcome, Ragnall Gaming, to the show. Um, student is uh, Gakusei. So now they're, they're straight, straight up teaching us kanji. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, though. Split the difference. This is 100%. We're going to go to 125. I don't want to make it too big, or else you have to like move your head back. You, know, you can't really see. Gakusei. Gakusei. Oops, that's sensei. Gakusei. Give me that. Gakusei. I. I. Gaku. Gaku. Ki. Ki. Sensei. Sensei. Gakusei. Gakusei. Student. Gakusei desu. Gakusei desu means I am a student. Tanaka-san wa gakusei desu. Tanaka-san wa da gakusei desu. Tanaka-san wa gakusei desu. Miss Tanaka is a student. So now we're done for the day, technically. We already were, but we're going to keep going. Maria-san mo gakusei desu, which means Maria-san is also a student. Mo. See, also. That's cool that they have this little yellow thing. I didn't notice that before, that it's, it's giving you the new words in yellow. Uh, Maria is also a student. Maria san mo gakusei desu. Thank you, Ben Frost, for the host, by the way. I don't think I said that earlier. Watashi mo amerika jin desu. That means I am also an American. I am also a. I am also American. Igirisu shushin desu ka? So that means. Uh, uh, are you from England? So you're saying, Watashi wa nan desu ka? That means, what am I? <laughs> wow, that's a very uh, contemplative, um, <laughs> that's like an um, uh, uh, existential sentence. What am I? Igirisu shushin desu ka? That means, uh, are you from England? Are you from the UK? And it's ing interesting because if you just said igirisu shushin desu ka, there's no subject in this sentence. Uh, so it's kind of implied. So you we're assuming that it means, are you from the UK? Because there's no other context. But it could also mean, is that person from the UK? Is this thing from the UK? Like it could mean a lot of things. Because in Japanese, you typically sever major parts of the, the sentence if it is not necessary. Like they almost always talk with like 90% of the sentence removed. So you have to kind of like assume what the person means. Because all this means is from England, like from England, question mark. That's what that sentence says. But we're assuming that since there's no other context that it means, are you from England? Hi, watashi mo gakusei desu. Hi, watashi mo gakusei desu. That means, yes, I'm also a student. Yes, I am. Also a student. So this is a, okay. Now they're getting into the negatives. Iye, Chugokujin dewa arimasen. Dewa arimasen means is not there. So that actually means no. I think dewa arimasen would mean that I'm not Chinese. I don't remember. I'm going to say that. No, I am not Chinese. Yeah. I don't know what I would say. I would probably say Chugokujin Janai. 
Jenai is kind of like a, it's not really grammatically correct, but like a lot of people say it. Uh, like it only works in certain, grammatically it only works in certain things, but you can just kind of say Jenai for anything, or Nai, you could just say if you're trying to say no, uh, that you aren't at something. No, I'm not a student. Ie, gakusei de wa arimasen. Gakusei desu ka? Gakusei desu ka? Are you a student? So this is another instance of that. This just says student question mark. That, like it's not it doesn't actually say that it's talking to you, but we are assuming if I wrote student, they wouldn't count that correct. But if I wrote student and they had the option for a question mark, it probably would be correct. Yes, I'm also a student. Hi. Gax Oh, I guess you'd have to cite yourself. So you say, "Hi, watashi mo gakusei desu." Hi. Watashi mo gakusei desu. Nihonjin desu ka? Nihonjin desu ka, which means are you Japanese? Ie. Chugoku jin de wa arimasen. Ie, chugoku jin de wa arimasen. Also, notice that there uh, is very little pr uh, punctuation in Japanese, and even this is not necessarily normal. Uh, you don't typically put punctuation at all or spaces. It's just one big line of text. But you can tell where the words are supposed to be separated because certain words are only ever used for grammatical separation. It's a really interesting concept. Little Rock, welcome. You found the secret stream. Everybody's finding the secret stream. Congratulations, guys. Did it send out a, a notification or or uh, are you guys just really good at finding stuff? I guess you're really good at finding stuff. You must be all Hufflepuffs. Sijin saying, I remember the word for Japan is Nihongo. Yeah, sort of. So the word Nihongo means uh, Japanese language. Uh, Japan is Nihon. So uh, yeah, if you take uh, off the, basically if you put on go to any country, that means the language of that country. So like ego, well that doesn't count because that's a specific word, but like, um, I don't know, uh, whatever other languages there are. Yeah, I guess a lot of them don't work, but usually if you put go after any name, it uh, after any country name, it will make it into that country's language. No, I'm not Chinese. Ie, chugoku jin de wa arimasen. Ie, chugoku jin de wa arimasen. Doesn't work for tamago. Well, that's different. Yeah. Go is not only used for language, but if it is after a country name, then yes. If there was a country named Tama, then it would be the language of eggs. Watashi mo gakusei desu. Maybe there is a, a country that's like all eggs living there. Uh, Chuckster, thank you for the host. Oh, Northlight is Hufflepuff. There you go. That's how you found the stream. Watashi mo gakusei desu. Nama. I am also a student. Hai. Amerika jin desu. That's this. John san wa Amerika jin desu ka? John san wa Amerika jin desu ka? So that means, is John an American person? But the interesting thing is that you notice. This is a question. Is John an American? But there's no question mark because in Japanese, there's actually a character, ka. If ka is at the end of a sentence, that means it is a question. Like, you're basically speaking. It's like Japanese is basically like you're saying, is John an American question mark? Or like what you, the equivalent in English is like if you're saying like, John's an American question mark. That's what this sentence basically says. But in Japanese, you speak the question mark. And, and on paper, you never write it. You never write a question mark itself. Uh, Chuckster, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Chuckster joining the show. You found the secret stream. Little Rock saying, I once again stumbled upon your secret stream. Congratulations to everybody who's here. Thank you for joining, guys. And joining me in my adventure through uh, Nihongo. John san wa Amerika jin desu ka? So that means, is John an American? No, I am not Japanese. Ie, Nihonjin de wa arimasen. I don't think anyone's going to make that mistake to me. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be using this sentence very often, but it's good to know. Hai, 
学生です。はい、学生です。You can kind of tell because it like only one of those sentences started with はい、which is the word for yes. 英語。英語。Okay, so this is the word go in Japanese, which actually、uh, this means language. So this is the word for, I guess, for English or American. Or something. But this one is go. So, Nihongo is the word for Jap- Japan plus this one.、Uh, and you can see that some of the kanji are pretty recognizable. This one actually means five. I don't know why or what that symbolizes. This one means mouth, and so does this. So,、uh, you know, you speak the language with your mouth. So, like, it actually has pictures that represent what it means. Well, that only applies in this kanji alphabet, which is the third alphabet. Ego. Go. Go. See, that's it. Go. Ego. So that's the word for Japan, Nihon. And then if you had Nihon with this thing after it, it would mean Japanese language. But it's interesting that Japanese person is also, it, like, Japanese could mean a lot of different things in English, but in Japan there's different words. Nihon go is the word for Japanese language. But Nihon Jin is the word for Japanese person. But in English, you'd basically just say Japanese for both of those. Suri Zarin. Suri Zarin. You'd probably put it like,、uh, I, I can't really write it, but you'd put it like this, where it's like, there's a, a Japanese character for it, but it's like Suri Zarin,、um, which would like extend the Ri. Good stuff. Ego. That's this. Ego. Teacher is a.、Uh, oh, see, that's sensei. But I sensei. probably wouldn't have remembered that. English is ego. Ego. E. E. See, the important thing is going to be. See, you can see this one is the one for person. That's like a, a, the symbol for person. I don't know this one or that one, though. E. Oh, now they're getting into the really important. This is a thing you're going to ask all the time. Ego wa hanase maska. That means, do you speak English? Wa. Go. Can you speak English? That's the question you ask a whole lot. Nihongo ga hanase mas. Nihongo ga hanase mas. Ga. So I'm not sure why you would say、wa. ga. Instead of wa, or why you'd say wa, I would always say ga. Because it's like, do you, are you speaking. I don't know. Maybe both are, are grammatically correct. Ego ga hanasemas, which means I can speak Japanese. And also, if you're asking at like a sushi restaurant or something, you can say. Nihongo ga hanase mas ka, which means do you speak Japanese, which is a good way to introduce yourself. Or, like, get if you're trying to practice Japanese, you ask the person in Japanese if they're willing to speak it、um, so that you can kind of talk to them. And then, you know, if they're nice, sometimes they won't want to, but a lot of times they'll be like very accommodating. Nihongo, that's this. Nihongo, Maria to John wa Nihongo ga hanase mas. See, this is a sentence right here. Did anybody catch this? Can you differentiate the, the sounds? Ready? Maria to John wa Nihongo ga hanase mas. Maria to John wa Nihongo ga hanase mas. Which means Maria and John can speak Japanese. So it says Maria and John are Japanese can speak. The Japanese language has it in different order. But、uh, Maria and John can speak Japanese. Maria to John wa Nihongo ga hanase mas. So you always know that like a wa and a ga are gonna be like stopper points, even though there's no spaces between the words. Ego. Ego. Go.、Uh, that's this. Su. Su. E. E. Gak. Tanaka sensei wa Nihongo to Ego ga hanase mas. Tanaka sensei wa Nihongo to Ego ga hanase mas. That means Tanaka sensei can speak Japanese and English. 
田中先生は日本語と英語が話せます。Professor Tanaka can speak Japanese and English. It doesn't necessarily say professor, but if it's like Tanaka, oh no, Tanaka sensei does mean that. Deathslayer saying, I'm loving Tomb Raider. Welcome, Deathslayer, to the stream. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That game is so good. I, I love that game a lot.、Um, you found the secret stream.、Uh, we're we're、uh, learning Japanese today. Tanaka sensei wa nihongo to ego ga hanasemasu. Professor Tanaka can speak Japanese and English. See, this is where the stuff starts, take, the lessons start taking us a lot longer because I'm trying to like, actually hammer it in. Ki. Ego. Ego. That's go. Go. Gakse. Gakse. John san wa sensei des. John san wa sensei des. That means John is the teacher or is the, a teacher. John is a. Professor. John is a teacher. That's the same thing. All right, that's an instance where I think they might have mess, messed that up. I'm going to report that. The correct solution is unnatural, or my answer should be accepted. I'm, I'm curious what that does. I wonder if like, somebody would get back to me and be like, actually, no, it wouldn't be、Maria、correct. <laughs> I'm challenging the Japanese app on whether or not it's correct. I'm the worst kind of person. Maria wa sensei desu. Maria is the teacher. Maria is a teacher. John san wa sensei desu. John san wa sensei desu. John is a teacher. Oh, yes, this is the same thing. John is a teacher, and we said John is a professor. It's the same thing. Yeah, I think that we, we should have been given that one. Ragnall saying a teacher would teach at a school. Well, a professor has a higher degree and teaches at a university. True, but I think that in both situations, you, like you, the word for them would be the same. So it could be either one. Little Rock saying, how would you say, How are you in Japanese? So you'd say,、uh, Genki desu ka? That means, like, are you okay or are you all right? It's kind of like the Japanese greeting of, like, how are you is similar to the, the,、um, the UK greeting, where, like, in, in the US, you don't really say, like, you say, like, how are you doing? But in the UK, you say, are you all right? Like, you say, you're all right, mate. <laughs> that's my US, UK impression. And in Japanese, that's what you're saying is, like, are you okay? Um, so you say, Genki desu ka? What is this? Mae? Oh, this is okay. So they might be doing for like a name. Namae? Nani. Yep. Nani. Mae. Mae. Na. Na. So yeah, they're gonna do Namae. Name. Namae. There you go. Look, it's a name tag. Anna. Sitting saying Japanese can be confusing because certain words are more formal than other words and more for between friends. Definitely. It's also true, true of English, though, and we just don't really recognize it.、Um, the, 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 the thing to err on the side of is just being more formal. So, you basically, like when you're learning, you just say stuff as formal as you can. And then as you get better, you start to understand through conversation, like the less formal stuff. So, I typically just say, like, the most formal. You know, you put des on it and you put, you know, san and everything. But, like, you could either say, you know, genki desu ka? Like, you could say genki desu ka? Or you could just ask, like, genki ka? Or you could ask genki. And, like, all of those three things mean, like, how are you? But they're on different、uh, planes of, of formality. Amae. Namae. Na. Na. E. E. This means yes. いいえ、元気ではありません。A is another way of saying はい、but it's like maybe a little bit less formal. いいえ、元気ではありません。Oh, here we go. They're teaching, Little Rock, good timing. They're actually teaching us how to say that. So, what this is saying is, no, I'm not okay. But they're probably going to teach us the opposite as well. No, I am not fine. 
That's a heck of a thing to teach you first. <laughs> Nani? I guess that would be this. Nani? Yeah. Little Rock wants to go back and teach yourself Russian. So do, do you still know any of it, or you mean like you want to sort of like brush up or whatever? When did you, how old were you when you moved uh, to the U.S.? Mochiron genki desu. Mochiron genki desu. That means of course I'm okay. Of course I am fine. Mochiron means like of course. Do. So you're saying, I said nani early in the stream. Yes, you did. Um, so nani, that was actually the kanji for nani, which is like the box with the little box inside of it, for lack of a better descriptor. <laughs> that was a pretty good descriptor. But you could also say it in um, hiragana. Uh, I don't know if they'll show it to you. No, not really. Ah, oh well. You could do it in hiragana, which is like the word for na and ni together. But usually in writing, you're going to see more kanji, unless it's on like a street sign. Onamae wa nan desu ka? Onamae wa nan desu ka? See, now we're getting into pretty important like conversational things. This means, what is your name? But it's a very polite way of saying it because it has desu ka, yeah. which means, you know, des is usually used to be more polite, and o is really polite. Uh, o namae wa, because namae wa means your name or like name. Uh, so you could say namae wa nan desu ka, which means what's your name, but o namae wa nan desu ka means like very politely what's your name. Um, you'll notice o in front of a lot of stuff in Japanese uh, if you were watching like anime or something. Um, next time you're watching, like, try and pay attention, like, if they're saying O in front of something. What is your name? Namae wa nandeska is more like saying, what's your name? And O namae wa nandeska is like saying, kindly tell me your name or something. Like, just like a more polite version. Mae is uh, this. Mae. Na, Na is this. Ki. Ki. Namae. Namae. Nani. Nani. Of course. Mochiron des. Gak. Gak. Nani. Nani. Gakse. Gakse. Namae. Namae. Mae. Mae. I wouldn't have gotten that. Gakse. Sometimes you kind of luck out because it's the last one on the list. But uh, maybe they're trying to build your confidence that way. Mae. Mae. Sensei. Sensei. Nani. Nani. Namae. Namae. See, sometimes it becomes easy to just click the things like which one matches which, but it's important to try and say it and truly understand it before you move on. <laughs> And we did it. We reached level one in introduction two. Hooray! Let's do one more practice run of all overall things then. And this one I might mess up on because I really am not very good at some of the ones that we learned emoji. earlier. Emoji. That's actually spelling it in the exact thing. Emoji. Ginko. Ginko is bank. Kudamono. Kudamono is a uh, fruit. Manga. Manga. See that? Ma n ga. Ma. You guys have used that word. I'm sure there's not a person in the stream who hasn't said that. Denwa. Denwa is phone. Chucks are getting that hype. Ben Frost getting that hype. Thank you guys. A little rock saying I was three years old when I was adopted from Russia. Oh, okay. So then you, uh, yeah, if you were adopted at three, then you uh, probably didn't know many words in Russian, right? Oh, you were malnourished. Oh, wow. So you lost your ability to speak Russian after you learned English. I'd like to teach myself how to speak Russian again. Yeah, do it. Duolingo is excellent. It's really good. Um, I mean, the, the stuff we're doing now, you can see that it's very useful for, for uh, learning stuff. But um, if you're going in, like, and because I've already done this stuff uh, previously when I learned it like six months ago or maybe a year ago. But uh, 
like if you're going through duolingo is almost like a complete solution up to a certain point like it's really useful so you're saying anyone who thinks what hentai actually means what americans think it doesn't yeah it means pervert hen, hentai but uh you know it certainly still applies in the sense of uh of what americans know it to be <laughs> pa ah. po 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 p p so you can say poo pee. <laughs> Pe chizu. Chizu is map. Not cheese, as you might think. Do. Do. Zu. Zu. De. De. Ji. Ji. Da. Da. Gi. Gi. Po. Po. Da. Da. There's some Russian. Da. Gi. Gi. Ga. Ga. Go. Go. Ge. Ge. Gu. Gu. Po. Po. Gi. Gi. Da. Da. Ginko. Ginko. Chizu. Chizu. Emoji. 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 Fruit is kudamono. Kudamono. Denwa. Denwa. The important thing in Japanese, you're trying to pronounce the words exactly right because there's literally only one way to pronounce something. Like every syllable, unlike English, has only one way to pronounce something. Like in English, every letter can be pronounced a different way depending on what word it's in. Like Japanese, like J A. In this, it's not ja, it's not j, it's ja. Except in another word, it might be ja or something. Like it's totally different. But in Japanese, it would only ever be ja, pa, ne, se. Like if you were doing these, not that that's how you say Japanese in Japanese, but there's only one way to do it. So you have to like, it'll really teach you fast if you learn how to speak it exactly right in the syllables. And that's why this is really great too, because it's important to learn from a uh, the same gendered speaker uh, when you can, or from bo both gendered speakers, like so you understand the difference of, of how someone might speak. Because if you're a guy who's learning only from a female voice, then you might uh, sort of take on the affectations of the female voice. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you might want to speak more like a Japanese guy would speak. So in this, they actually have both genders uh, male and female speaking to you. Death Slayer is saying it's your one year stream anniversary. Congratulations! Get some hype for Death Slayer! In that chat! Gakko is a stu. No. Gakusei is student. I don't know what Gakko is. I'm just gonna say student. School. Oh, gakko is school. Kaban. Kaban. Bag. Ragnall saying, if I want to learn how a Japanese guy would speak, I'll just watch the anime with the most dramatic males I can find. There you go. Ocha. <laughs> they. It's actually pretty funny. I know you're uh, joking about it, but it's a really interesting thing that uh, the the way that uh, they tell you to, to learn Japanese is they say never watch anime to learn Japanese because uh, the way that they talk in anime is very different than like how an actual Japanese person would talk and it, it leads you down the wrong path. I know you specifically, Ragnall, were joking about it, but uh, so like the closest thing I could think of when I was trying to explain it to somebody was like that the way an anime person speaks if you were trying to learn English and you only learned from like one of those like commercial announcers who goes like Sunday 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 ah we're gonna have monster truck rally and you know it's like a very specific way of speaking and if you learn Japanese by the way an anime person speaks then you're gonna sound like monster truck rally guy talking at all times in Japanese yeah. bu, bu, bo, bo, bi, bi, ba. Ba. And so they tell you to uh, instead watch Japanese dramas of like actual 
you know, live action dramas because they speak more normally. Z. Z. G. Or even Japanese comedies, but as long as it's not a uh, cartoon. Z. 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 I thought that was really Z. interesting because I originally was wanting to watch a lot of anime to learn. Z. Z. Keep. Keep. De. De. Ocha. Ocha. Kyo. Kyo. Q. Q. Which is nine. Ga. Ga. Zo. Zo. Q. Q. Zu. Zu. Oh, the rock saying I have a Russian translator book. Oh, nice. Your mom kept loads of trinkets and souvenirs. She was in Russia during the time of protest, making a three day stay turning into a week's stay. Wow. That's uh, that's cool though that you have a bunch of books that you can can grab, and then if you combine that with um, Duolingo, I like I re recommend doing Duolingo along with other learning methods for sure. Um, for Japanese, uh, there's a great one called JapanesePod101.com, which anybody who's trying to learn, excellent, excellent learning tool, Japanese Pod. 101, which is a series of podcasts and videos, and it's all free. It's so, it's really good. Uh, just a lot of content. Um, there's a lot of other apps and books and stuff you could do for but. Japanese. But I, yeah, if you're doing Russian, I recommend the same thing, like Duolingo plus something else. Ba. Ocha. Ocho. Ocha. That says ochiya. That says ocha. Ocha. See how the small ya. They don't have lowercase letters in Japanese. This is kind of the closest thing, where it's like you have a small version of a letter next to another one, and it turns it into another letter. So this is chi, usually. But if chi is right next to a small ya, then it turns it into cha, because there's no otherwise no sound for cha. Kipu. Kipu. Kaban. Kaban. Gakko. Gakko. Zu. Zu. Gakko. Gakko. Kaban. Kaban. Gakko. School. Gakko. And ladies and gents, that's going to do it for our secret stream today. Thank you everybody for joining. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, learning more Japanese, guys. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. This is secret stream number six, and we're going to keep going through it as far as we can go. Um, thank you, everybody. We're going to raid at the end of this, but stay tuned for that. If you don't know my channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, typically. Right now, this was a secret fourth stream that's outside of the normal amount of streams. But uh, if you want to see the games list, then type exclamation mark games. You'll see a full list of all eight concurrent gameplay series going right now. If you uh, like the stuff that you saw here, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of eight. We're currently at five, so we're getting there, guys. We're past the halfway point. And if you uh, want to check out the 11th ent entry in the Twitch playbook, then uh, go to exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You can uh, see a whole bunch of stuff on there. It's all uh, stuff that I created as a free resource for you guys to learn from my experiences on Twitch. You can find it as a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. And it's exclamation mark playbook in the chat. Arigato gozaimasu. gozaimashita. Thank you for the... Yeah, that's perfectly written. Thank you, uh, Ben Frost. Thank you guys for being a part of it. Arigato gozaimasu. Uh, Ragnar Gaming says a pretty good way to describe it. I wouldn't recommend people learning German by watching cartoons either. Yeah, I I, I, I like that. When I came up with that like thing of like monster truck guy, I, I like that as a... I like that as a visual, thinking of a monster truck guy walking around in the everyday world just talking like he does on the commercials. <laughs> Um, anybody who likes my channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad-free streams. Subs also get the sub badge, which upgrades with their subscription. Uh, another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheerers and donators both get custom voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have Nobody in first place with $5. That's a, a gold star donation and an anonymous donation. Thank you to Nobody. On the cheerleader boards, we have in third place, Rob Teaches with 200 cheer. Thank you to Rob Teaches, that's a purple level cheer. Second place is Space Dust with 500 cheer. That's a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Space Dust. First place is Peer to Beer with 510 cheer. That's a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Peer to Beer. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You're directly helping the shows to get better. 
Every single day I improve at least one thing about the family of channels, whether that's the Twitch streams you see in front of you, whether it's uh, acquiring and setting up new games, whether it's, it's Streamlabs, Nickbot, OBS, or any of the stuff behind the scenes that makes these shows tick, whether it's um, creating and posting content to the social channels like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, whether it's improving the Discord, whether it's writing Twitch playbook entries, or whether it's in, uh, recording the podcast, all of that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. So thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is highly appreciated. Now let's find a stream to raid, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to look for somebody playing a previous game in our playthrough series, as uh, always, because we don't want to see any info about games that we are currently playing or any games that we plan on playing. So let's see if we can't find something fun to join. We got one over here. Let's see what this is. Can we join it, ladies and gentlemen? Possibly. I don't think so, unfortunately. Oh, I saw a Sekiro trailer, though. Okay. Found it. Guys, we're coming from a Japanese lesson to a Japanese lesson. Oh, my God. Okay, we got to go. We got to go. Because the shroomy one is literally, at this moment, starting Yakuza Kiwami. I just saw him on the easy, medium, hard screen. Uh, so he's literally at the beginning. Let's all join our friend the shroomy one for... Some Japanese with Shroomy right after this Japanese with Nick. So guys, make sure you flood that chat with hype and with love. Uh, you can see the hype, or rather the raid emotes in the chat. Either the raid emotes, which have all the characters on it, or the sub raid emotes, which are subscriber exclusive, that has the voice of Nick TV head, the hype speech bubble, all that stuff, guys. Uh, make sure you copy one of those down and paste it into Shroomy stream when we get in there. We really want to wish him some best wishes in Japanese, if you can, in English, if not, or with emotes, which is the universal language. Now guys, I will see you all later. Thank you for joining the show. Bye-bye, everybody.